Your stream make me so happy Melly. I'm Aww. so glad you're regular with streaming now because it's become easier to empty a load. You're welcome? Well, I don't know what to say. Muldoon lived alone in the Irish countryside with only a pet dog for company. Oh. One day, the dog died of old age, so Muldoon went to the parish priest. Father Patrick, I'm afraid that my dog has died. She was my only companion for 15 years. Will you say mass for the poor creature? The priest replied, I'm afraid not, my son. We don't have services for an animal in the Catholic Church. But there is a Baptist and a Methodist church down the hill. Maybe they'll do something for the creature. Muldoon said, Okay, I'll go right away. Father, do you think $10,000 is enough to donate to them for the service? Damn. Father Patrick exclaimed, Sweet Mary, Mother of Jesus, why didn't you tell me your dog was Catholic? A very large woman wearing a sleeveless sundress walked into a bar. She raised her right arm revealing a huge hairy armpit as she pointed to all the people at the bar and asked what man here will buy a lady a drink. The bar went silent as the patrons tried to ignore her. Aww. But down at the end of the bar an owly eyed drunk slammed his hand down on the counter and yelled give the ballerina a drink. The bartender poured the drink and the woman chugged it down. She turned to the patrons and again pointed around all of them revealing the same hairy armpit and asked what man here will buy a lady a drink again the little drunk slapped his money down on the bar and said give the ballerina another drink <gasps> the bartender approached the little drunk and said i say old chap it's your business if you want to buy her a drink but why do you keep calling her the ballerina the drunk replied any woman who can lift her leg that high has got to be a ballerina that's not what I expected. No! Mm, yeah, okay. A family decided to try a nudist camping resort for a cheap vacation. On their first day there their young son went off to explore the site. <laughs> some time later he came back to the tent and said, Wow, mom, you should see some of those girls. <laughs> They've got these huge. Yes, well, his mother snaps. The larger they are, the dumber the woman. Next day the boy comes back to the tent again. Mom, you wouldn't believe some of the guys out there. They have these huge. Yes, well, like I said, the bigger they are, the dumber the man, says his mother. Really? The boy said, frowning and looking puzzled. Well, it looks like we might be in trouble then, mom. Why? Honey asks his mom. Because dad's out there talking to a really stupid girl, and he's getting dumber by the minute. Err, no! <laughs> no, no, oh, ew, oh. <laughs> How to traumatize a kid 101. Okay, all right. Are we, are we, mm, we're doing this again. It's not coming out of my- There was a man walks into a confessional booth and says, Father, forgive me for I have sinned. The priest asked, what is your sin, my child? The man replied, three days ago, my mother-in-law was helping me move some stuff around and it started to rain, so she stayed the night. We slept together. The priest said, give three Hail Marys for this. The man replied, Father, forgive me for I have sinned. The priest asked again, what is your sin, my child? The man said two days ago I was helping my sister-in-law move and it started to rain so I stayed the night we slept together oh. the priest said give six Hail Marys my child the man said father forgive me for I have sinned the priest what is your sin this time my child the man said well yesterday my brother-in-law was helping me unpack some stuff and it started to rain so he stayed the night we slept together at this the priest stands up and looks out the window the priest shouted it's starting to get cloudy get out of here before it starts raining the preacher in his sunday sermon used forgive your enemies as his subject after a long sermon he asked how many were willing to forgive their enemies about half held up their hands not satisfied he harangued for another 20 minutes and repeated his question this time he received a response of about 80 percent still unsatisfied he lectured for another 15 minutes and repeated his question with all thoughts now on sunday dinner all responded except one elderly lady in the rear mrs jones are you not 
willing to forgive your enemies? I don't have any. Mrs. Jones, that is very unusual. How old are you? 93. Mrs. Jones, please come down in front and tell the congregation how a person can live to be 93 and not have an enemy in the world. The little sweetheart of a lady tottered down the aisle very slowly turned around and said, It's easy, I just outlived the bitches. Mrs. Jones. The father was very upset about his son little Johnny's gambling habit, so he went up to school to talk to the boy's teacher. The teacher suggested maybe if he lost heavily on a bet it would cure him. The dad thought this was a good idea. That night after school she asked little Johnny to stay behind and confronted him about his bad gambling habit. Little Johnny replied, it's not only me with bad habits, you're a fraud, you pretend to be a lady, but you've got nothing on under that dress. I have so, she blurted out without thinking thinking you don't and I'll bet you my month's pocket money. The teacher was in a bit of a moral dilemma. She had promised to help and this would be an expensive bet for him to lose. So she lifted her skirt and flashed little Johnny. Having won she rang the boy's father and told him about her bet. Darn it said the father. This morning he bet me $200 you'd show him your panties. What kind of school is this first of all? What is going on? You guys got hustled. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you are not subbed, and um, okay, bye!